is up guys, President Clash here, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys this incredible Royal Giant deck strategy, and there are multiple variants to this deck, so if you do not have one of the cards for this deck, do not worry because I will be explaining the different variants, and I have tested these variants myself, so do trust me in that this deck will work for you in a Royal Arena, or a variant of this deck will work for you. It has gotten me all the way up to 2302, and you have to realize, I'm a freaking level 7 who has not gemmed a single time on this account. Has freaking 481 gems just from saving up and barely ever using the gem to open chest. That's like who I am. I'm doing pretty good as a player in general. And I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, who maybe are level 8 or level 9 and trying to get into Legendary Arena, this could really help you out a lot. And these are just some really great strategies, especially after the balance change update. I have incorporated some cards that have been, you know, uh, buffed during the update. So now moving on to the deck, what we're going to see here is we're going to see the Royal Giant, obviously. We're going to see some Goblins, the Zap, the Bomber, Archer, the Witch, Falcon, and the Miner. So the one card you may not have is going to be the Miner. So if you do not have the Miner, you can perfectly switch that out with the following card. The cannon. The cannon serves as a perfect replacement because the only purpose in this deck with the miner is either for a beginning rush with the minor goblins or just tossing in the miner as a distraction. And generally it's not needed that much. You can actually pull off this deck without the miner. I've tested it before countless times. Trust me on this, you guys could just use the cannon. Or if you have another legendary, just toss that legendary in. You can either replace it with another legendary or the miner. Or sorry, or the cannon. And another thing you can replace, if you guys do not like archers, then you can replace it with the minions, just three minions. Uh, the one that's the three elixir, you guys can replace it with this one right here. And then you're set. So basically, that's the deck right there. And now let's get into some replays of, you know, this deck and how good it really is. So I'm going to show you guys some really good uh, replays. So as you guys can see, I've won countless raids with this deck. It's just crazy how many raids I've won. So we're going to watch this one right here. This one was actually an extremely close one. And this guy was a Balloon Giant deck. And as you guys can see, I was back in Arena 6 when I did this. And the reason why is because yesterday I was at 2,302 trophies. And then all of a sudden I lost all my trophies because something random happened. I tried another deck and I just basically lost every trophy I earned the day before. But this deck really helped me get back up. And I'm now back over 2,100 trophies in Arena 7. Okay, so now he starts off by dropping the giant and the witch, and this came to me by a surprise. He had the freaking balloon with him. I had no idea what to do. I was screwed at this point. I had no elixir to defend, and I was just like, wow, good game, because at this point, I realized I'm not going to win. Like, there's not a chance of me winning. So now, at this point, I dropped the miner, because the miner was my best bet in attacking this tower. And unfortunately, he dropped the Valkyrie, so the miner does kind of got wasted here. Yes, it did damage the tower, but unfortunately, the Valkyrie stopped my little push. So now, at this point, you know, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I have 151 health on that tower, and he's coming in with a Musketeer, and I literally have no idea what to do. Because he's, now I know he has a Balloon Giant deck, and obviously, I'm going to have to figure out a way to beat this. Uh, I have gone against these decks before, and they're kind of really annoying. They're kind of the most annoying decks I've ever seen. So I'm going to go into my Royal Giant, and the Royal Giant is actually going to most likely end up uh, taking out uh, the tower. Yep, the Royal Giant ends up taking out the tower, and then I believe I'm going to be dropping uh, a Witch. No, no, I'm not going to drop anything because the Barbarians have literally no health at all. So now he's coming in from the left side and he's going to drop a balloon next. I literally have no chance. So I have to stop his push almost instantly or else I will be screwed 100% for sure. So I dropped in my Valkyrie and here we go. So we actually do manage to take out a giant and apparently he did not drop his, um, what is it? He did not drop his uh, balloon. And now I'm going to go in with the Royal Giant with my small push that's going in. And now I'm going to take this opportunity to, you know, do a bunch of damage to his tower. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well, and he has a bunch of troops coming at me. So, uh, on this side, I dropped some archers, I dropped that, uh, my bomber, and now he's coming in tight. You know, we have a huge, uh, he has a huge push coming in, and now this is my only chance if I want to, you know, end up winning. I dropped some goblins in a risky attempt to, you know, try to get the tower, and now I'm going to drop my royal giant, and this is going to look like a pretty good push for now. 
Um, I, I have some archers and the bomber coming in. I just spawned a second bomber on the left side. And just watch this. Watch those barbarians get destroyed instantly. And my miner is going to end up taking that tower out easily. And we're going to end up winning this with only uh, 10 seconds remaining. And he's going to desperately drop his balloon in an attempt to try to take out my tower. But unfortunately, my archers and my witch combined with the zap is going to be enough to take that out. And we're going to go and win this raid. So this one gave me 29 trophies. We're also going to be looking at another one. So let's look at the next one. And the next one, we're just going to pick a random one. So which one was a good one? I want to show you guys some variety. So let's check this out. Alright guys, so we're going to be showing you guys this one right here. I'm actually going to speed this one up. Because I just want to show you guys how the strategy really works. And remember, you guys can change the cards. So I started with my standard um, minor push with the goblins. And we get the tower down to around 940 health. Now he's coming in with a huge push and I kind of failed to defend it, but otherwise he didn't really get that much done to my tower. And uh, my Valkyrie over there is still alive and now it's gone. As you guys can see, he's coming in with a huge push on his side and his mini P.E.K.K.A. does get one hit onto my tower. So now his tower has 600 health and mine has 960. So now one Oral Giant should be enough to take out his tower, so I just decided to take it out right away. Um, so one Royal Giant actually did not, was not enough, we were actually down by just 24 HP on his tower. So uh, one zap is enough, so at this point I'm just trying to defend, but it seems like he's going to end up getting my tower anyway. So I want to get rid of that tower immediately because I have no time to waste and I want to get the second, um, I want to be able to rush his side with the Royal Giant. So as soon as this happens, he drops an elixir collector, I drop my witch, and then I drop my royal giant. He drops a cannon, and then he drops a mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so my so his tower is sitting at 1700 health, uh, or HP, and uh, I'm not going to be going in with my second push. He drops a mini P.E.K.K.A. and uh, Hog Rider is not going to survive, and we're going to go in with our uh, push with the miner. Uh, as you can guys can see, uh, my bomber takes out his uh, little pile of barbarians, and I think one royal giant should be enough if everything goes well. Um, so yeah, my royal giant is going to be enough. It's going to be taking that tower out, and there we go. So my tower still has significant health, and we were able to take him out easily. So that's basically a wrap of that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the strategy. I really recommend you guys use this strategy. And also, if you guys are wondering why I'm talking a little, like, you know, light, it's because it's literally 1 a.m. and my parents are sleeping upstairs. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. And by the way, guys, uh, please do like the video and comment. I really do appreciate it. I comment, I mean, I reply to every comment, and one like really helps me keep on going to my channel. My channel hasn't been doing well lately, but recently, uh, but recently things have started to pick up again and I have some really cool ideas and projects I've been working on and those are going to be released very soon. So I'm very excited to bring you guys that stuff. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.